What's up, Tarnish? It's your boy Albi, and we're back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you where to find Dan's hand. And the only reason why I'm I'm on the starter menu is because we're about to start the game, and I also am going to show you my race trait and build because everybody keeps asking me that in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. This is what I got. That's what I'm rocking with. That's what I'm rocking with, and that's what I'm rocking with. I got Love by Mana for trait. I got uh, Mahari. And I got World Tree. I'll start the game. You're going to start in a public session. All right, we just loaded in. Here we go. Um, level 90. Max cash is 50. Max level is 90. So for all, everybody that's been asking me that. And this is what my character looks like currently. In game. This is how far I've gotten him. I still don't have the mythical armor drop yet, but I do got the mythical blade. I'm going to farm for that later today on live. I I I know I promised I was going to go live yesterday and I apologize, but I was like super tired and I didn't sleep. I really only slept for like 2 hours yesterday, so that's why I'm um going to do it tonight. Hopefully. I'm going I'm going to stream. I'm going to stream for like at least um 3 hours, so I give everybody a chance and then I'm going to rotate um, so everybody has a chance to kill the boss and they did fix they fixed the hitbox So now everybody can get a chance to hit the boss All right, so everybody's gonna get a chance. So nobody needs to race to the boss, you know to get there and we're also hosting a tournament a tournament to get a To get up a, um, a role specific to you in my server, you know specific to you But for the Dan Dan's hand right it's called the the gauntlet's grasp right it does um 10 blunt damage it does 10 bl um, blunt damage and it is a strength weapon yes his hand is a weapon so i'm gonna show you where it's located and as i'm walking here comment down below Sorry, um, comment down below, which I think the next update should have. What are things that you're looking forward um, um, forward to? What are ways the game could improve? What bothers you about the game? Because when you tell me things like this, I can go ahead and tell the, um, um, the owner of the game or the development team. You know, just give them pointers on what y'all complaining about. You know, just let me be your voice. But yeah, this is the room right here. Um, in order to, because a lot of people was asking me this too, in order to spawn the Soul King, I said Soul King, I'm, I'm, it is Halloween, so, to spawn the, the skeleton boss down there, you gotta kill these guys, right? You gotta kill these guys until Red Message pops up on the top, right? And then you gotta go down there, then you gotta have two people with 25 strength or more, um, to kill the boss. Yeah, I'm a little sick, guys. And if y'all was wondering what these are on top of my um, magics, um, my magic, these these just enhance my magic. Like they make this, it could either make it stronger, take less mana, or you know increase the amount of magic you use. Like for example, this right here. Let me show y'all real quick. This move right here. Like you see how many branches they have. You do not spawn in with that many branches. You get you literally have less. But when you come here, you you talk to Dan, right? Then Dan tells you to go get his arm. And Dan's hand is the one that well, is what I'm using right now. You know what I'm saying? But, and then you just go down here. Like I said, because every, literally everything I was just talking about, from killing the skeletons to getting to this point to coming down here, is literally, uh, is literally all ties into each other. And then when you fight the boss, right? The boss doesn't drop it himself. The boss only drops himself. He drops the half curse sword. He drops the the um. I don't know what's it called. Hold on. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? He drops the enigma blade. The uh, the enigma blade. This is this is the mythical blade that I was currently using. I'm trying to collect every weapon in the game. And weapons do have traits, guys. So if y'all didn't know, weapons have traits. 
So the reason why it has average next to it, say if I got a weapon and it had like a like a crazy, I don't know, like some crazy um, trait on it. You know, like it would be way stronger. Like it would do like way more M1 damage type type ish. Um, what else? Yeah, I think I covered everything. Then after you fight the boss, like I said again, the boss doesn't drop it. So if you end up dying in these fights, then you just you know I don't know what to tell you. Cause there's no way there's no way to get in, and also with this this with this new update that they did, um, people can't just stay in there now. So after 15 seconds, it teleports you it teleports you um, back out. I think nah, I think it was 30. 15 seconds would be a little a little too crazy. Or I think it was one minute. You get like one minute in there, so everybody gets one minute to pick up their chest. So while you're killing the boss, do not AFK, cause you're gonna miss out on the loot. The chest they drop the grasp and they also drop. I think the arm, I don't think, yeah, I think the armor's in the chest. The armor's in the chest. But there is, um, for this update, there is two armors, three weapons. I think that's about it. And I currently have one armor, two weapons. I missed one weapon. And then after that, I just need the armor. And then I'll be, my build will be complete. This I'll have everything for the Halloween event. But yeah, if I helped you in this video, you know, um, I would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and obviously, turn on the post notification bell because we do have a lot that we're going to be doing. We got a tournament that's going to be here. You get your own custom role and my um, Discord server that you can join. We on the road to 200 members. We have a lot of people in there. It's just been growing. Like I'm talking about, like we are, we're active. We do events together in there. I host giveaways for block fruits. It could be any game, really. Um, there's game suggestions where we would probably just sit and stage and then we'll play games with y'all and you know try to have fun together we do like fun little activities like that i'm gonna probably be doing more tournaments especially for real seeds when it comes out block um or like holy war x these are gonna be games that these are games that i'm you know i'm gonna obviously be doing a lot in and whatever game i play i usually go overboard when I say overboard, like as you can see, my character here is broken. I'm gonna be broken all in all those games also. Holy War X, I got tester for it. Um, Real C's, not. I don't have tester for it, but I can still. I can. St I promise you, I'm still gonna be on. I'm still gonna be on top. We have like a whole whole mechanic thing that we're gonna be doing for Real C's. So like everybody's gonna be like sitting. Trust me, everybody's gonna be sitting swayly. If we work together as a team, there's no way we can fail. It's literally a hundred a hundred and thirty seven of us. There's no way we're there's no way we're failing. So if you want to join the the crew, and whenever they add guilds in this game, if you want to join the guild, also you, you can do that. All right. But I'm gonna finish talking here. I'm gonna finish the conversation. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and catch you on the next one. Peace.